Welcome to ed to work ICT Tools videos. This is number 13 in the series, Google Docs. Now we're already looking at the page of Google Docs. This is actually my page. And we can see there's quite a lot of documents I already have. Some were created by me, it says me. And some were created by other people that have shared with me. Now, what we can do is create a number of different sorts of document types. And I'll relate them to Microsoft uh, to Microsoft Office package to make it easy to understand. Uh, there's Word documents, documents, presentations like PowerPoint, spreadsheets like Excel. This one they don't have. This is um, a form like a questionnaire form. So you can actually put a survey online and get answers. You can make drawings collaboratively. Uh, tables is uh, charts. And collection is just how you group all these together as in within folders. Now what we'll do here, we're going to create a quick document. Here it is. I'm going to click on document. And up comes the new document. And we're going to call this uh, Google Docs for now. Okay. And uh, we're going to rename the document because at the moment it's called Untitled. So we've got a file, rename, enter the new name Google Docs. Okay. Now What's very interesting about all the Google Docs is that you can share them. Now, let's have a look how we can share these. This is share here. And at the moment, these are only uh, they're private and only I can see them, Joel Josephson. Now, I'm going to change that and I can share it publicly on the web. So you can actually make a document here that you would share with everybody in the world. Uh, you could link it through a website or whatever you wish. You could share it anyone with a link. And there'll be a link in a minute. I'll show you how to take the link and you then send the link either by email directly from the application here or through your email. Or you can make it private so that only people uh, are allowed to log on and then see it. So let's um, share this with anyone on with the link. Uh, but then we can do additional things. And we go to this box here called Access Can View. Now we can allow people who have the link to edit the document. So it's like they've got exactly the same document as me and they can edit it. Or they can just comment on it or they can just view it. So let's say that they're going to be able to edit. We save it and then we can see this is the link that I'm going to send it. Now I can down here, I can put in email addresses and send the people directly from the application or I could take this link up here and send it to them directly. I could share it on Google, in my email, Facebook or Twitter as well. So there's many ways that I can share this document. But I think the most important, uh, okay let's delete that. Um, okay. So hopefully I can, yes I've got to cancel that. Okay done. Now the most important thing is this business about when people can also work on the same document. Now we can actually work collaboratively all at the same time. There could be 10 people working on this document together and you can let them edit it. Alternatively, if you've only allowed them to comment, you can go to the drop down insert comment and then over here I can say great doc and then whoever comes to this will actually see this comment. It actually goes a little bit over there. Um, so that, that's, that's as far as we want to go with this today. Now let's go back, let's close this and then go back to, there's the Google Docs that we just made, but we can do additional things with it. If we uh, select it here by ticking, we can share that directly just the way we did before. We can put it into a particular folder, we can delete it, we can preview it, I don't think it's, it's going to preview there, or we can do a number of other things as well. Now this applies to all the different sorts of Google Docs that there are. Thank you for listening. This is the end of the presentation on Google Docs number 13 in the series.